The Uncovered Breast Recognition Project is a resource that I created out of my own difficulty of not seeing myself represented in the cancer care space. So in 2017, when I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, I decided to have a bilateral mastectomy. And when I was trying to weigh my options and going into hospitals and talking to different surgeons and going to patient awareness uh, sessions, I didn't see any images of black women and their reconstructed breasts. And I really felt like my issues didn't matter. And I didn't feel confident in making a decision about a life-changing surgery um, because I didn't see myself represented. According to the American Cancer Society, black women of all ages are more likely to die from breast cancer than any other race or ethnic group. And the lack of racial diversity in medical spaces could lead to late or incorrect diagnoses. And what really concerned me was that if my sister, my brother, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my nieces, who were diagnosed with breast cancer and are black, that they would go through the same experience that I had, that nothing would have changed. It wasn't until the photographer turned the camera around and showed me the first few pictures of myself that I started weeping and I, I finally saw myself as beautiful and whole. And it's not just the BIPOC community that faces additional challenges in seeking medical care. Research shows that members of the LGBTQ plus community are also disproportionately affected with lower screening rates. One thing that kind of sticks with me is when I've been in healthcare spaces as a patient, uh, not with direct cancer experience, but uh, screening for instance, and, and I've tried to fill in the intake form and, and there isn't like a, a checklist or a box on that form that represents me and I've, and I've had to ask questions that have made me feel really vulnerable and all it takes is improving that form to make me feel seen and um, yeah being queer in a healthcare space is is complicated and vulnerable and uh, we need we need to do the work to make it easier for people when people enter the um, healthcare system it's very kind of cis and heteronormative so for example relationships are often misidentified and it just adds this kind of extra layer of difficulty at a time when people are already going through something that's very emotionally challenging and physically challenging, just harder to make themselves known. Being queer, trans or non-binary is just one element of somebody's identity and you have compounding experiences of oppression so you're not only experiencing homophobia or transphobia, you might experience racism at the same time or any other kind of ism in the healthcare system. I think it speaks to the fact that it's m much harder to exist with ex intersecting identities in a cancer environment and maybe less willing, less able to share stories because of it's more complicated and if you're not seeing yourself represented in stories you're less likely to maybe be able to share your own story. Kamiko Tobimatsu, a young, queer, and mixed-race woman, decided to push back and share her own story through unconventional means, a graphic memoir. The most common images that we see, and it's getting a bit better, but the most common images are those of middle-aged white women in, you know, getting breast cancer, and kind of traditionally feminine women which uh, of course that's a demographic of people who get cancer and breast cancer, but it's, a, it's one of the many demographics. And so I think for those of us who don't fit that model, it can feel isolating that we're not seeing ourselves uh, reflected. When it comes to reproductive cancers like breast cancer, when it's tied to what we conceive of as gender and gender performance, that really comes alive maybe more than, than other types of cancers. We um, really wanted to tell a different type of cancer story, a different type of health story, um, with the hopes that it will encourage other folks to think about their own experiences and put that out there so that we can have a much greater diversity 
um, of health stories that, that are out there and that are, um, you know, reflect the variety of Canadian experiences. Catherine Cheng, Global News.